All right, everybody, how's it going? So um, right now we're about to get into how to build Aragon like an absolute Chad. All right, so first, uh, Andril, eh, my opinion, as y'all know, is this has got to be maxed first. Um, it's his only main good ability from the starting point. I can see Doonday Chieftain, yeah. yeah you're, mm, no, 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 no me gusta. No me gusta. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and max out Andril. Um, I've got mine at level 36, 37, and um, he doesn't have the last rank right now, but um, that's not really too big of a deal because um, kind of what I'm gonna tell y'all is if you already have him at that level, well, you're gonna you're gonna be building it. So I'll kind of explain that a little later. So base stats from equipment and um, hidden air. So of these right here. You mainly want to get these um, mainly to rank three. So, in order to do that, let's go right here. This is going to unlock. So we're going to do one. We're going to do one there. And then you're going to go up to I believe five. You want to get these to three. Did I go up to six? Okay, six says. So these are going to be three. These are his best skills, and the reason why is because of hidden air. Um, he gets skill damage percentage, and that affects everything. So, you can do this one of two ways, and maybe it'll take a little bit more playtesting to really tell what will be the best build for Aragon. Um, this is purple version, by the way, not gold version. <laughs> kind of a peasant. But this right here is a really good... This is just a passive that pretty much every round he's going to have a 50% chance of doing more damage. I would max this. Um... The reason being is because 50% 50 50 chance of gaining damage 50% is pretty crazy by itself. So I would recommend maxing that. This I would get up to this right here. So let's just say you are at the next stage. I would put all your points in hidden air at this point. I think that's the best way to build them because of him being so damaged. That, you know, everything is about getting these. And maxing out Strider really isn't that great. It just gives you base stats from your equipment, which, which, let me get to the stats. So I've got mine full purple. He's got two, 236. Um, and then, you know, his might, let's just say might 10%. You know, I don't obviously have this set up right. I'm kind of doing it as I go. I should really switch over to Scout's Mail. Um, so that'll be, uh, I should really switch that and, uh, throw something else on which i'll probably do later so noob noob part on me mainly because i didn't get this until later so that's the reason why but full might on this guy full might on this guy he i've got him set up on this i was really happy and then this i didn't really have a choice um they don't really have great options uh this i definitely threw on Faramir um as my main and um but i did do it for the speed on the melee so that was kind of the trade-off but um either way um yeah, I'll be switching over to that, but the passive was what really made it really good because every two rounds he gets defense plus 5% for one round. Um, that's really good. Um, I wouldn't be too serious on the effects of your armor unless it's really good. You know, then you can base a unit around it, but unless you kind of... Because it's so random, you know, you don't really know what's going to happen, but let's go into... What else you would do with these points? So, a lot of key points. What are you doing? Okay. So, hidden air. Um, I would definitely put all of the rest of my points in that. This, no. Gain sun immunity against enemy orcs and urukai, and then normal damage. That's not good. Um, because against enemy orcs, you know, you might be going up against elves as your main opponents this season, or you know, maybe Mordor, maybe. But this isn't too great of a skill. I would definitely invest in doing other things. This is good if you do an all men's team. Um, kind of like how I was saying, um, nobility isn't something that you would want to max. But since he has so many percentage stuff going off, this would stack really well. But for this right here, um, the lowest defense, this is a really good skill. Um, until I kind of get in there, I would put either my points, which I'll actually do right now. So what I'll do is this. Get this up to, yep, get that to there. But let's go over the bottom. Let's go over the bottom part just to clarify about what you shouldn't be doing. Is maxing out well prepared because while this is good, don't get me wrong. Counterattack is really well. You have to max out Dune Day Chieftain. 
you don't have enough points to spare to do that and damage against melee units that's that's out of the question just go to ability you know if you really want this skill brawling training you would just want to go to ability so wouldn't invest in that um and then the last two points i'm going to do in this that's kind of as I see it, the best way to do it, and mine is level 36 right now. So, um, mid game, I would definitely focus Undral, skip Doomday Chieftain, do not do it. Um, 3%, that's nothing. That's that's not even worth batting an eye over. Sure, it is every turn, but it's not worth it's not worth going after for. I would definitely say that much. Um, Call the Weak, this is a good skill. Lowest defense. So, while it's 120%, it's against the lowest defense. So if that means one, that means doing a whole lot more damage to their archers at one time. So that's a really important skill. Um, pursuit, and eh, I really have no idea. I'm thinking it's similar along the lines of initiative, but I'm not too sure on that. Maybe a little bit more playtesting, and I'll know for sure. Um, this skill raid is nuts. This is a really good skill. Um, would definitely max this first over. Um, precise blow, um, especially going hit in air. Level 50 Aragon would be really strong. He would be like a one-shot absolute monster. Like, you would want to kill someone within four turns. Like, this guy would not be coming out of a match alive if you did him successfully, because he would be one-shotting them really quickly. Um, if he goes... The reason why I say he shouldn't be coming out well, if the rounds go on for too long, he's screwed. Um, he has no healing, no support, no nothing. So... That's the best way, for, in my opinion, to build him right now. Um, Equipment-wise, you, you know, go for full might. Um, do not go for focus. Um, speed is speed and might would be your be your strong points on this guy. So that's kind of all I got for y'all. Um, and um, I'll see y'all in the next one.